Hey guys, good morning. Today we're going to mess around with something kind of cool. This is the PowerSmart electric pressure washer. It's the PS22 model. Okay, PS22 says it right here up on the top. Um, now this is a 120 volt electric pressure washer. It's got maximum PSI, 1300 PSI, and it's got uh, like 1.2 gallon per minute or something like that. This thing only weighs 18 pounds and operates off of any 110 household plug outside. And so this was sent to me by PowerSmart. So I don't want to um, tell you guys anything wrong here or say anything you know that wouldn't be um, truthful. So this is a review for PowerSmart. Okay, they're not paying me to say one thing or the other, and they're not you know they didn't request that I upsell or do anything like that. Uh, they said, hey, we want to send you some stuff. If you can talk about it on video and uh, give us your honest feedback, we'd really appreciate it. So that is exactly what we're going to do today. Now, you know my background. Uh, most people know my, back, my background. But for anybody else that's coming across this video, my name's Dan. I own uh, Trimmers Enterprises. It's a, a lawn service and property maintenance uh, company. I do pressure washing. And I have all types of pressure washing videos, uh, different how-to videos. And I use a uh, gas-powered Honda motor, four gallon per minute, almost 4,000 PSI. Um, and that's how I do, you know, that's, that's one way I make a living with, um, with the pressure washer. So using something like this, this little guy here is definitely not in the norm for me. Uh, but little units like this do have their place in the industry. Once we put this thing together, you could keep this in your garage. You could drain it and keep it indoors if you have um, a, a condo, a townhouse or something like that and you don't have access to a garage. These little pressure washers like this are great for that. You can keep this on your boat. Uh, you can keep this in your RV. You can keep this in your garage if you have a garage. And you can use these on your boats, your RVs, um, ATVs. You can use these things, you know, just about anywhere. And so that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to go ahead, we're going to unbox it, we're going to do a demo with it, we're, we're going to wash the side of my vinyl house with it with some bleach, uh, do a nice little soft wash, house wash type deal, um, and we're going to see what other things that we might be able to get into with this unit. Again, this is the PowerSmart, it's the model PS22, and I believe it retails somewhere around 100 bucks. Uh, I got links to it down below uh, in the description of this video, so you can check it out on Amazon and uh, decide for yourself. So let's tear into this thing. Let's see what we got. All right, let's go ahead and cut into this thing. This is how it came shipped to my door. Um, I believe the company actually sent it through their Amazon uh, link. So if you uh, if you were to purchase this thing through Amazon. Or online, I assume this is exactly how it's going to come. Packaged up pretty nice. Pretty small, fit right in the trunk of my car at my P.O. box yesterday, which was nice. Now, I'm not at all familiar with the unit. I've never used this thing before. Uh, so, I am just as new at this as you are. Looks like they just got some extra packaging in here. Take up some space. Here's one wand with the fan tip. Obviously, that's uh, oh okay. Check that out. You can adjust your fan tip. I don't know if you guys can see that. You see that? Huh? Completely adjustable. Here is the chemical bottle. So this is where you would put your solution. A little bleach, a little soap for house washing. Soap tip. Very nice. Obviously a holder. Obviously a hose connector. Quick disconnect. That's convenient. Comes with the O-rings already installed. Keep on digging stuff out here. More little holders. Looks like an extension. Starting to get to the good stuff. Trigger. Nice. Got a little bit of weight to it. 
I don't need no stinking instruction. I better hang on to that. Here's the hose. I believe it comes with 35 feet, no, 35, 35 feet of extension uh, electrical hose and 20 feet of, of this hose. I could be wrong though. Could be the other way around. Uh, oh, here it is right here. 20 feet high pressure hose, 35 feet power cord. And the power cord actually has GFCI, GF, GFI, whatever, uh, the ground fault interrupter so you don't get electrocuted. There's the hose. And here is the pressure washer. Look at that, huh? You see that? Talk about lightweight. I mean, look how small this is. That's perfect. Like I said, if you got an RV, you got a boat, you got a sailboat, you got a condo, you don't have a lot of space, but you need a little extra help with washing, definitely cool. All right. Let's lay this all out, see what we got. So there we go. There's everything right there. All the contents in the box ready to rock. Let's start uh, assembling this. First thing I want to do, I'm going to get the get everything out of my way so I can see what I'm dealing with. Let's get that out for the power cord. Nice little holder for the power cord. Huh? That only goes a good bit of distance. And like I said, it's got the GFI fault interrupter. So if something happens, it'll pop it and turn your unit off before anything bad happens. 800 number, so if there's a problem, you give them a call. And of course, uh, spray gun, quick setup. Check that out. So it shows you what to do. Hmm. That's pretty cool. But let's finish putting this together. Not exactly sure where this goes yet. Looks like this goes right here. Yeah. There it is. Pops it in. There's that. There's that, and then there's this. But you can actually keep this together if you want. You'd like the wand together. Well, that seems pretty easy. Push, turn, take it apart. Comes with an O-ring. So you push, turn, and it's together. That's nice. So we can keep that like that. And we can put this like that. So that's pretty easy. And then you have this down here for your garden hose. And one of these is going to be probably for that. But I don't know. We'll see. Not there yet. Not there yet. Um, turn this around. Pop this on, somehow one way or another, that holds the hose. And then that holds the hose, and that. Guys, we are cooking with gas, baby. Uh, the only thing we gotta figure out is where this goes. I think this is just for your garden hose, a quick connect for your, for your, uh, for your garden hose. Put this on the end of a, uh, a garden hose that you wanna use. And then you put this with the O-ring right here. Squeeze this on here nice and snug. And then you can buy like multiples of these at um, Home Depot, Lowe's, Ace, True Value and stuff like that. You could buy a bunch of these generic size um, hose connectors and have them all over your, your house, all over different hoses at your house and have different connectors, um, different other ends you know um, for different tips that you might use with your garden hose so if you have that option um, then you have this ready for you 
I didn't show you how to hook up the pressure hose. So the pressure hose is pretty simple, very self-explanatory actually. Um, you got your wand here with your brass fitting right here, and then you got either side will work apparently. Um, it's got a little screen filter here. Okay, so if you take these apart, if you take this apart, you know, look in here for any debris that might be caught. There's a little screen filter in there. Uh, so all you're going to do is just take this, line it up, and then screw it on. If you guys have noticed, we've uh, assembled our entire pressure washer with absolutely no tools, none. So you know what that means, right? It means you don't need any tools to take it apart. So if you're using it, you can quickly disassemble it. All right, so you got that done. Here's this. Again, you got the O-ring here. It's already on for you. You got the out here. And all you do is push this on with a little bit of force, get that O-ring started, screw it on. So, there you go. We now have ourselves our handy dandy, hurdy dirty, power smart, 120 volt electric pressure washer ready to go and check it out it's got little wheels so you can roll it around if you want uh, so I guess uh, so that's our that's our unboxing and assembly very very simple to do I don't know um, I don't know how much easier you might want things to be but that was pretty easy okay so one of the first things that we check out is because it's power it's a power cord you say man you know I hate messing with electrical lines and everything like that it's a real pain in the butt it can be I'm not gonna lie to you I mean that could definitely be a problem so let's check out how this one's going to be with the 35 foot and the 20 foot electric line and pressure hose so we have it plugged into my front door here where there's a regular outlet there's no extension cord and it reaches to here it reaches to the corner of the house here and then the hose reaches halfway down to this point here without an extension cord. So just to show you, when you stretch everything out, I mean, you're talking about, uh, you know, 55, 60 feet of distance that you get with the extension cord and uh, the pressure hose. So, I mean, that's not too bad. That, that gives you a bit of distance. So if you're working around a boat, if you're working around an RV, if you're working around your ATVs, if you're working around a shop, a garage floor, you're cleaning stuff out, something like that, that's not too bad. Um, but I get it. I get what you're saying. It could be a real pain in the butt. Um, and it can be. So, I don't know. Let's get this thing set up and uh, let's do a product demo. This is kind of funny, but I actually have my pressure washer on top of a glass patio table. Now... You guys know me, uh, I got the big Honda with the reels in the back of my truck and everything. So this lightweight little baby is definitely not the norm for me. But this and this is, and we are going to attempt to do a soft wash on a vinyl, vinyl siding house with the PS22 by PowerSmart. And so what we're going to do is we're going to use their little chemical bottle that they gave us. We're going to fill it up. Uh, with a touch of soap and a touch of bleach. Now normally my ratio of soap to bleach is going to be one gallon of bleach, one ounce of oil, or I'm sorry, one ounce of soap. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put about, there you go, there's about an ounce and a little more for good measure. There's the soap, dishwashing soap. Uh, I like to use soap because it helps the bleach cling longer to the vinyl, it helps the dirt lift off of the vinyl, and it helps you to see that the siphon 
on any unit is actually working because you'll be delivering suds and bleach at the same time not just bleach that you won't know if you're actually putting bleach on or not and you sit there wasting your time so I put a little bit of soap in there to act as a surfactant we'll go ahead and mix this around for all you people that are getting ready to comment that this is mustard gas come on man seriously so that's about that very carefully we will go ahead and fill this up with some bleach here we go as you can see we got a nice little bleach soap mixture sitting there ready to rock and we put our connector back together all right um, one thing we talked about in the unboxing and assembly was the guard hose setup we talked about the garden hose setup and having the end here so as you see let me make sure this is good as you see the garden hose needs to have this quick disconnect here in order for it to properly work you do this one-handed you need this here and it comes with an o-ring already so go ahead screw this onto your garden hose hand tight should be fine because it's got the o-ring in there and then all you do is pop this bad boy in there you go connected we got it all good all right so that's how you connect the garden hose to the unit itself so the only thing left to do now is uh get the extension cord plugged in and bleed the system i'll show you how to do that in just a moment and then we'll be ready to rock I got the extension cord plugged in, I got the garden hose set up, I'm about to turn on the garden hose, but here's the deal. When you turn on the garden hose, if you got everything connected, if you got your pressure hose connected, you got your wand connected, you got everything connected, you have a blockage in the garden hose water from working its way through. So you have to do what's called bleed the system. This is something that I do with my commercial pressure washer, this is something that you got to do with every pressure washer got to make sure that there's no air trapped in the system so how do you do that one way to do that would be to not have your wand connected just turn on the garden hose and let the water run through the pump through all your hoses and then out the end here then you know it's bled but trying to screw this together you're going to get soaked doing it so you got everything together hoses together power everything's on just make sure that or everything's connected just make sure the power switch is in the off position and you would know that because as soon as you plug it in, if it's in the on position, it would start going. Um, and you definitely don't want that to happen. Uh, so, here's the deal. To get things rolling, the first thing you got to do is, and I need to hit the breaker on there. The first thing you got to do, turn on your garden hose to bleed the system. So right now water's going through but it's only going to go so far and then the air is going to stop it so now you gotta did you hear the air bleed the system now we got good good water going through the system is now bled now you're ready to start work let me make sure that the gfi is in the on position here i believe it's not it says press reset button to start now hit the on switch and then it builds up pressure and then it stops now the pressure is built up it's no longer going to make that noise until you hit the pressure switch you hit the trigger and it starts squirting water so it's auto on auto off you never have to touch the switch again until you're done work so hit the off switch and there you go it doesn't turn back on all you're doing is bleeding the system again. Turn it back on. Pressure builds back up. And there you go. Now it's not coming out hard because there's no end here to create back pressure. Uh, so the first thing that we need to do is hook up our soap tip and we're going to wash this nasty green house. So here's the end here. And then you got this here. And you got these little nipples right here and you got these grooves so go with the nipples go with the grooves put it in like this turn and it's now locked and now it should siphon soap 
through this fan tip, see this is like a big old black tip, and cover the house. So, let's see what it does. Do you guys see the soap on the windows? That's why I like to put soap. All right. I guess maybe I'll do a little time lapse for you guys and see if, uh, the white turns white and the green goes away. Alright guys, I interrupt this time lapse to bring you something a little bit more cooler than watching mildew go away. Uh, we put the extension on, so I took the soap tip off, okay, and we're putting the extension on because this is more fun. I was just playing around with this. So you put this on, give it a twist, lock it in, and you have an adjustable tip here. So watch this. Start wide open. Watch the window. To a fan. That's some nasty stuff right there. Let's talk about in all honesty. We're a little crooked here. Alright. We unboxed it. We assembled it. We described it. And we demoed it. Let's review it. Let's talk about something. Um, right off the bat, it's lightweight. You can't, I mean, if you guys need, if you need a lightweight, compact, portable, little pressure washer, this thing's pretty kick butt. I mean, seriously, look at this thing. And you saw the work that it just did. I mean, it works, obviously. Uh, very convenient, on, off. No gas, no oil, no pump oil, nothing. It just, you squeeze the trigger and it gives you pressure. So if you got to wash ATVs, dirt bikes, um, cars, anything like that, vinyl siding, you can do it. You got the pressure to do it. And that's pretty neat. If you are going to use, stand by. If you're going to use this chemical injector, you're going to be greatly disappointed. You might as well not use this. Uh, it's too small, and it sucked the chemical out like that. And before you know it, I was rinsing the chemical off before it really had a chance to do so. This should be white by now. This green right here should be white, uh, just from the bleach alone. Problem is, it put, it sucked this bottle dry so fast that we were then rinsing it off so fast um, that the bleach never really stood a chance. So that's why we interrupted that time lapse and just started pressuring it. So let me show you guys, all right, I'm not going to give this thing a bad review because of it. Remember, it's a lightweight, portable little deal, but this thing sucked it dry in like two seconds. So I wouldn't use this, not at all. This I would not use. Um, let me show you what I would do. This is what I would do. This is how I would handle that um, if I needed to put chemicals, a pretty decent amount of chemicals, onto a item that I want to wash, such as vinyl siding, uh, if I want to soap a car, or anything like that. If I'm just power washing crap off, power washing crap away, 
dirt, ATVs, power washing a boat, trying to get the salt water off, and I'm rinsing it real fast. Something like that. Fantastic. Fantastic. You don't need nothing. You don't need the, the you don't need that little that little thingy, whatever I did with it. You don't need any of that. Where did I put it? I don't even know. Um, but if you go to Lowe's, Home Depot, Ace, True Value, don't worry about Roundup. Don't worry about the brand here, okay? Roundup, don't, don't you know, it, it doesn't have to be Roundup. They got cheap, like $9. If you got a Harbor Freight by you, you can get yourself one of these little one-gallon little pump sprayers, okay? And so this, this part here is for people that don't know, all right? Take your bleach, take your soap, put a little bit in there. I don't know, what is that, an eighth of a gallon? Uh, almost a quarter of a gallon. Um, and then with the switch in the off position, so you don't create pressure. You can go ahead, if I can, put some water in thin that bleach out some because you don't need to go with straight bleach not even close okay about I don't know maybe almost a quarter of a gallon of bleach and then the rest um, remember we got an ounce of soap in that gallon too so we're putting a little bit of bleach a little bit of soap you do this now this is a trick okay this isn't for power smart this isn't for anything this is an honest review if you buy this pressure washer, if you buy this pressure, this this Power Smart PS22 or PW22, whatever it is, if you buy this, this is what you're going to need to do if you want to use chemicals, if you intend to do cleaning using chemicals, you're going to want to do this. All right, a little bit of bleach, a little bit of water. You're going to want to do this. We're pumping it up, and we're going to spray our bleach. This is going to give me uh, better coverage than that little pinky little square bottle, or that little round bottle. Okay, I can control my coverage here, and I can do this a lot quicker than with the Power Smart pressure washer nothing against it it's just not really designed for that okay if the option is there for small jobs but if you do this your bleach soap mixture if you do this you'll literally Start eating away the green. Get you a little bit closer. With a lot more control. So you run around your house, and this is what you do. You buy your little pressure washer for a hundred bucks or whatever it costs. Okay. You didn't spend two grand. You didn't spend a grand. You didn't spend eight hundred. You didn't spend six hundred. You don't need gas. You don't need oil. You don't need nothing. You need a nine or ten dollar one gallon pump sprayer. You need a gallon of bleach, a little bit of dishwashing soap or laundry soap, any soap, and your little hundred dollar electric pressure washer or whatever it costs. Power Smart also makes different models of this. Okay, so you can get them with more power, um, stuff like that. So you don't have to get the PS22. They got more, more, more pressure wash. But you see how the green is just disappearing now right now we'll let that sit for a minute Time out. how are we looking much better right and we can continue to let this sit if we needed to but I'm done letting it sit let's rinse it off let's let's do it we're done let's make sure to be on pressure's built up we can fan tip it and we're just gonna rinse. Make sure we rinse the window.
much better, huh? All right, guys, so there you go. We just did a nice little house wash demo. And we figured out the best way to use this pressure washer for this job. And that's what using the little uh, hand pump sprayer there, the little one gallon sprayer. And the, oh, that, that's where I put it. I put it back where it belonged. And using the, uh, the Power Smart pressure washer. All right, guys, so, again, I wasn't paid to do this um, review um, or anything like that, all right? That's, that's honest truth to God. I wasn't paid to do this or, to, or told what to say. I was given this machine. They shipped it to me. It arrived last night, and they asked me, please do a product demo. Uh, do a video. Let us know what you think. Put it up on YouTube. We stand behind our product. We believe it's a good product. We want your feedback. This is my feedback. Uh, I think it's nice. I think it's a good machine. Um, I think it's great for people that uh, have specific things to do. Boats, RVs, ATVs, uh, car washing, blowing out their garage, you know, rinsing stuff off. Uh, little jobs like this is fine. Um, sheds. Clean your, your shed. Um, so, in fact, that's what I'm going to leave you guys with is we're going we're gonna, to uh, wash my shed. Uh, real fast and then um, barbecue grills patio furniture stuff like that perfect far better than a garden hose uh, you're just not gonna get the pressure with a garden hose and if you need the chemical mix like I said using that little spray bottle is gonna piss you off that little that little chemical bottle they give you that's gonna piss you off uh, it's cute it's a nice idea but it's way too small it it isn't regulated in any way, shape, or form, and I didn't like it. I don't like it at all. Uh, I would not use the bottle. That bottle kind of, that bottle's going to piss you off, so don't use the bottle. You can use that little one-gallon sprayer if you need to apply a lot of chemical. Um, if you're washing a car or something like that, uh, you can run around. You can wet your car down. Um, then you could throw some soap on the car and make your suds, do what you got to do to lift the soap off, you know, whatever you want to do. But this, that little spray bottle is not going to even do half the car. Um, so unless I was doing something wrong, which I, I don't believe I was, I mean, I read the instructions and all it says to do is disconnect the wand, the extension here, disconnect that, put that in. I even tried it off camera at this point to see... If maybe it goes here, if that would make a difference, it does not. It doesn't attach here. It won't fit. So you have to put this one in first, and then you can use your, um, then you put your chemical bottle on. It's just too small, and it's not regulated. So don't don't waste your time with that. Um, just get yourself a little spray bottle if you need to use chemical. I don't. I, I mean, that's that's it. That's the deal there. Um, other than that. I think this thing rocks. I'm going to roll it all up now, and I'm going to drain the water back out of the port um, where the garden hose connected, and I'm going to roll everything up, and I'm going to store it probably in my, in, my, in my closet with my vacuum cleaners and stuff indoors. I don't know. I can store this thing anywhere I want. There's no gas, no smell, no nothing like that, and that's fantastic. So you guys can store this in your RV. You can store it in your boat. you got one of them sailboats. You can keep it there. Um, you know, whatever. You can keep it in your garage, you can keep it in your closet. I think I said that already at the beginning, but pretty neat. Um, so Power Smart, good job. I think you guys did a great job with this um, with this product. I think it's pretty cool. And um, definitely, uh, I'm going to hang on to it. I'm going to use it around the house so I don't have to break out my big old uh, pressure washer and all the hoses and all the crap that goes with it. So I am going to uh, finish doing a little bit of work and uh, I hope everybody uh, enjoys this video and gets a little bit of something out of it and and uh, can see how it is. Cool. All right, let's go to work. Yeah.